Well, our next guest had a daughter graduating from high school, and she didn't know what to buy for her. She decided to give her a photo book of memories and include some advice and words of wisdom. That, that labor of love is now a book everyone can re read. Liz Kokalis wrote, Have You Filled Her Backpack for Girls? And this is Have You Filled His Backpack? She had her son in mind writing lessons for guys. And we're excited to welcome Liz to the Morning Blend in just a moment, where you can meet her this weekend as well. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Great to meet you. Yeah, this is really great. So these these backpack books, I think the story of how they came to be, you writing this great picture book for your daughter and then turning it into something for everyone is really cool. But tell a little story about what, why the backpack? Wh where did the backpack come in? Well, the, ba the backpack came in. Um, my parents immigrated here from Greece and they uh, often didn't know how to fill my backpack. Yeah. And sometimes they didn't know where to go buy the backpack. And I thought it was important to uh, provide the stories and parables that they shared with me with my daughter and my son and everyone else. Mm -hmm. I love that, that you didn't just do this for your daughter, but you did it as something that can help other parents. And your advice is, is fantastic. And I, I like how, how honest you are about the fact that you're working full time. Mm -hmm. You get a little bit of mom guilt going on, which I think is so common for all of us as we're raising kids. But this is a, a way that you felt that she could be prepared for college and really for life too, right? Correct. Correct. And um, some of the things, she even has included some of her own words of wisdom. For example, um, have your parents review the rules of driving before they teach you how to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not a real good driver. Anybody who knows me knows that. But. Yeah. Yeah. But it's that modeling behavior. You know, it's kind of like, well, you can't right. expect me to do this if you're not doing it. You know? Right. Yeah. Right. Or one of the other ones, um, I told her not to give the uh, garage code away to her friends. Mm hmm you know, that's like giving the keys to my house away. And so when she read um, the draft of the book, she included that in there. And I said, oh, so I'm right. She goes, no, but I thought it was important to be in your book. Oh, cute. 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 Very cute. You give her a lot of different advice. You know, um, daily rituals is one. And, and how do you incorporate daily rituals? What do you recommend? Well, one of the first things is to wish people a good morning. Mm -hmm. It makes their day and, um, and also yours, uh, to make your bed in the morning. It's the first accomplishment of the day. Mm -hmm. I think that's huge. I heard a Navy SEAL give that piece of advice yeah. to college graduates as part of a commencement address, because if you make your bed, even if your whole day goes bad, you can come back to it and still feel like you accomplished something, right. which is basically what you said too. What about job interviewing in particular? What do you, what do you like to share with young people about interviewing? Well, one of the basic things is to um, provide a handshake. Mm -hmm. uh, when you enter and when you leave the interview. Uh, the other thing is don't use texting language like uh, JK or uh, LOL. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. Even just in general conversation, it's weird. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> just don't use it when you're talking. It's for writing only. Yeah. <laughs> How about relationships? Because that's a big piece mm -hmm. of what you write about. Um, yeah, there's many things in there about that. Uh, w one of the uh, uh, relationship advice I give is that you can't change anybody. Mm -hmm. You can only change yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's tough to learn, I think. What about the, the advice that you have for girls versus boys? Is, is some of it the same? And then how did you switch it up to give the, the filling his backpack advice? It is. A lot of it is the same because it applies to boy, uh, both boys and girls. Um, but for boys specifically, I've included a chapter on dating and chivalry. Mm -hmm. Chivalry is not dead, but it is on life support. <laughs> yeah, it is. I like that. Yeah, I would Opening agree. Opening doors, stuff like that, right? Right, right. Yeah, and I, I think now, too, one of the things I've noticed about kids that age is that they'll, if they arrive to, to pick someone up, they'll text you, I'm yeah. here, uh -huh. rather than coming to the door. It just, you know, it's easy. I get why they do it, but even right. things like that seem right. to be lost in, in the translation. Uh -huh. Great books, wonderful advice. So nice to meet you. I think your, your advice is so clear. And, and so relatable and that's why I think people like it so much people actually have the opportunity to meet you at a book signing that's coming up this Saturday at 1 p.m. it's at the Oak Creek Public Library which is located on South 6th Street in Oak Creek the books will be available at the event both for guys and for gals um, and you can find out more by going to that um, event like we said and meeting you which is great thank you so much thank great you so we got to give you one piece of advice though that's so oh, great yes. that I've never heard before if you don't want to cry let's say together Together you squeeze, squeeze your, your butt, butt cheeks. cheeks. There you go. <laughs> that, I think that I've work. never heard that before. <laughs> that was great. I like it. Great Thank to you. meet you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thanks for being here.